Well, what I have here is a pair of Black Magic Design HyperDeck Studio Pro 2 units. And if you can't hear the wonderful grinding noise, apparently both these have fans that have failed. And they both appear to be dead, which is fantastic. They came from a commercial environment and they're fairly clean, so I don't know what the heck's going on here. But I guess uh, the only thing to do is crack them open and take a look inside. Well, I'm at my teardown table now, and I guess let's uh, crack these open. This won't be a destructive teardown because I'm probably going to end up selling these for parts repair. I'm really. I don't know what I am. I'm really unhappy and upset that these are dead. One, I was kind of curious to see if there's something I could start using for my YouTube channel maybe to record stuff with. But also, I paid a lot of money for these with the impression that they were supposed to be good. Or well, not necessarily good, but this is a commercial customer of mine that generally makes it clear if something's dead. I don't know how old these particular units are, but yeah, I don't know. The one thing I have found about black magic design stuff is usually if it comes my way, it's dead. But these were just so clean that I figured, eh, you know, whatever. I had some like weird, I think they're like video distribution control panel things that I've gotten a couple times now where they were just obliterated internally like some components basically blew up so i kind of wonder if like i said i'm just getting this stuff because it's dead or if it's just, maybe it's just junk i don't know i have no experience with black magic design or really any actual commercial video oh well everything's dead oh wow you definitely want to be careful when you uh, open these up. There's a fan on top that is attached to some of the back PCBs. This lid is a piece of aluminum. And there's the fan that's bad. <laughs> uh, sad thing is it's a standard connector, I believe, for these types of smaller connectors they use on fans, but um, I don't think I'm going to have any fans that will be the right profile. But the other problem is, why isn't this turning on? Or um, booting up, that is. And I have powered this on just a few minutes ago, so I want to be careful where I put my fingers. I am seeing a little CMOS battery, super tiny. It's like hearing aid battery size. Yeah, it's just, it's not something I'm going to be able to do anything with, unfortunately, because uh, there's nothing obvious wrong with it. I was hoping maybe there'd be some like bad capacitors or something, and that's why it would power on, but it wouldn't post or you do anything, whatever these are doing, I guess. <laughs> but. Let's uh, pop open the other one real quick, and then I'll do some close-ups of the interior. Make sure that, yep, that's in frame. Uh. I paid $610 for the pair of these. I might be able to make my money back selling them for parts, but I bought them intending to sell them as working units. This is kind of the aspect of my job that I hate sometimes because customers aren't always honest with you and they don't care. Like, there's no recourse for me with this. The only recourse I have is I'm just not going to pay as much stuff. Pay as much money for the customer stuff next time, and you know maybe I'll maybe I'll end up being a wash in the end. But this particular customer has kind of screwed me on a couple of different things now. 
and I've said some stuff about it, and they've, you know, they've done what they can to make it right, but it's just one of those deals where, I don't know. Alright, well, I'll flip this one over, mindful of that fan wire. There we go. So it's just this 40 millimeter fan that's failing on these, so that's not too bad. It might be hard to um, find another fan with that same connector, but yeah. Alrighty, well, yeah, same deal here. The capacitors don't look like they're blowing up, so PCB isn't labeled as to what voltage it runs on. I might power it on without the top cover and see what voltages are coming out of here. If it's something weird that doesn't make sense. Because I'm guessing it's probably 12 volt. Although there's not much, oh, there's some power regulation. It would be kind of fun to pull the heatsink off and stuff and do a little bit deeper digging, but I don't want to do any damage to these units since I would like to be able to sell them for parts repair still. So we'll do some close-up shots. I believe a lot of these chips in the back end are going to be uh, controlling like the communications through the ports, whether it be audio or video. I might have to bring that closer to the camera. There we go. Whole bunch of crystals there. I don't know if maybe that's for the audio and video circuitry. Looks like there was some uh, USB type B ports that could go internally. And then in the middle of the screen, you'll see that looks like C263. That appears to be a tiny CMOS battery. Yeah, it looks like they're using like a PCI Express 1X connector for the SATA riser boards. This has two SSD bays, basically. And this is the fan that's making most of the noise. It's shot. I mean, it still spins, so I'll give, you know, gotta give it credit there, but that bearing is hosed. Also looks like there's some memory chips and stuff around the, uh, I'm assuming it's the main processor. SK Hynix memory. Based on the shape, in size, I would guess it's probably DDR3. I guess we should have a little backboard and floor. Looks like that's for the um, RGB related stuff. Got the connector right there for the exhaust fan on the top. Power coming in. And this P main PCB kind of goes around. There's a little cutout around it for the power supply. Just kind of weird. You'd think they would just put the power connector on the side of the board and put it this way and not make some weird shape PCB because there's stuff routed in through the, the edge of that PCB for these uh, flat flex cables. Looks like this uh, cable here is for the little knob on the front. Must be like a Hall effect sensor or something in there because there's only five wires. And there's not much there other than just some metal can around the surface. Yeah, there's a little front PCB with a bunch of weird cutouts for the openings of the solid state drives and then these uh, bezels around the solid state drive slots 
are uh, backlit with some LEDs. I would assume probably indicate activity and stuff. Oh, but unfortunately these are both dead as far as I can tell. So they'll be going on eBay for parts repair depending on when this video goes up. Uh, there's a good chance they'll probably already be sold. So yeah, hopefully that's interesting. Um, basically, if you hear fan noise, it's probably the CPU fan that's failed. The uh, blower fan, yeah, blower fan sounds reasonably quiet and it spins pretty smooth. But yeah, that one's definitely shot on both of them. So hopefully that was interesting. Thanks for watching.